Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and, well, we're not playing as Yugi, so no Dark Magician summoning here either. My Valentine sat on a hill, having a quiet moment to herself. I don't get it. Trashing Hotshot Duelist is usually as fun as a fall clearance sale. Why can't I enjoy it anymore? Grr. It's all because of that obnoxious punk Joey. I can't believe such an amateur beat me after three attempts. I've got to get even with that grinning gutter punk. At that moment, Rex Raptor, whom I dueled and defeated on the way to Duelist Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. That seems appropriate. It's me, Rex Raptor, the Dino Duelist, and I'm itching to finish that match we started on the boat. Funny, I thought I already knocked you on your Jurassic butt. Think whatever you want, you're about to get stomped. You think I'm gonna waste another minute with a pea brain like you? Beat it, Dino Breath, shoo, shoo. Her pea brain, I happen to have been a finalist in this year's regional championship, and I'll have you know I've already won five star chips. I was about to just complain about the story not telling us, uh, how many starships uh, that Yugi and Joey have been collecting, but at least they brought them back here. Mai held up her bracelet to show off her star chips. Whoa, how'd you get eight chips already? From wannabes like you who think that by dueling a chick, they'll score some easy stars. I've only lost once, but once I find that punk kid Joey, it's payback. Joey Wheeler, how could you lose to him? I'd love to see you try and... Hmm, that gives me an idea. Rex, I'll agree to duel you if you do something for me first. Mai and Rex searched for Yu-Gi-Oh and his friends in hopes of finding Joey. It wasn't long before they did. Ugh, tell me that's not who I think it is. How are you, Joseph? Glad to see me. Ecstatic. So, Joey... Is Yugi still fighting all your battles for you? Everyone knows if Yugi wasn't there to hold your hand, you wouldn't have beat me. Isn't that right, Yugi? That's not true. Oh, really? Then I propose he steps out of your shadow here and now. If Joey thinks he's so tough, let's see him play for himself. You think you have the guts to step up and face the duelist I've arranged for you? I'm dueling on Mai's behalf. Recognize me? That's Rex Raptor. This twerp's supposed to scare me or something? I bet you he ain't so tough. Don't you remember, Joey? Rex plays second in the regionals. Well, Joey, you gotta ask Mommy's permission or what? This is your big chance to prove yourself, or are you gonna back out? Don't worry, sis. I'll make you proud. All right, then. It's dino feeding time. Let's duel. Bring it. Also, I apologize if I get voices confused or off on uh, going between lines. I don't always... You know what? I'm going to go second, because I feel like second is almost better. You get to be the first one to attack and the first one to draw an extra card. Yeah. Um, so we have a soul exchange, which I'm most likely going to be using. It plays a wasteland. And a crawling dragon number two. Okay. So Joey's deck is still freaking awful. That gains 500 attack for each swamp battle guard. Gruzis is a beast warrior. What does this power up? Dinosaur, zombie, and rocks. Uh. Well, Soul Exchange allows us to tribute our opponent's monster uh, instead of tributing one of our own. But it means we can't attack or conduct our battle phase during this turn. So we go to the end phase. But hey, we have a uh, tribute monster out. Red Eyes Black. Yeah. Well, I have to f deal with this Red Eyes Black Dragon now. 
which is uh, Rex's special card. I love that they have animations, special summoning and, and attack animations for certain monsters here. Um, I don't know if that'll help. Well, a thousand dragons not much stronger than red eyes, but uh, I'm gonna be needing to use that kunai with chain, so I might as well use it with the baby dragon. Baby dragon versus red eyes, go! Let's see what he does. Oh, Crawling Dragon. That's not helpful. And I guess there's really no point in activating the Kunai with Chain since, uh... Since he'd still be able to kill the Baby Dragon. Alright, I'm gonna need to draw something here. That is not what I had in mind. Red Eyes is just a bit too tough. Let's see, how much attack power is this? 18 plus 24 is, uh... Well, it won't leave us with many life points. But we gotta play a little bit defensively and just hope we actually draw something with this awful deck. Fossil Dig. Add a level 6 or lower dinosaur monster from your hand. Oh, Soul Exchange. Well, Soul Exchange means he can't attack this turn, so that's kind of a relief. And uh, he has a Mega Zeller out. Doesn't necessarily make things worse. Oh, seriously? Well, I guess we're gonna have to use this. And when this monster goes to attack, we're going to use the kunai with chain to increase his attack, but also put his red eyes into defense. And he's declared battle with the uh, with the one I wanted, the crawling dragon. So Oh, I can only change the attacking monster to defense position. I don't necessarily want to do that because I want to kill his crawling dragon. But now his red eyes comes and well, his red eyes does that. And Mega Zeller is not helping with the situation. Can I get like a dark hole or something, baby dragon? Well, that's gonna be the game. And. Oh, yes, yeah, so it gives us a trip tip to use a soul exchange. The card we, you know, used. Okay, we're gonna skip the uh, story because we already heard it. This uh, was another kind of short duel, so I'll just keep this in the same part. We'll see if we beat Rex. Oh, well, Rex is going first. I had both of those lava battle guys. Oh, this looks awful. Alright, we need to find a monster here. Something that's not Time Wizard. Well, I mean, that at least increases our monster's attack and defense. Well, let's play Graceful Charity and get something useful here. There's Battle Steer, there's Swamp Battle Guard, and Root Kaiser. 
need all this garbage. Get rid of that and that. Um, well, I guess we're going to use the same kind of strategy that we used before with the Soul Exchange and tribute summon this weak little 5 star 1800 attack monster. But this time I can also throw down the Sakuritsu armor. So if he spams a red eyes like he did last time, I can just blow it up. And there's a wasteland for our opponent as well. Oh, he didn't have he didn't have another monster beyond that. Okay. And threatening roar, which means we can't attack this turn. So we'll just move to our end phase. And now he's going to Soul Exchange. That's awesome. For Sword Arm of Dragon. Huh. We have both Baby Dragon and Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield's not going to help us beat that thing. So let's use our Time Wizard. And uh, Time Roulette Go. Uh, we'll go with heads. Of course. Of course. Why, why would I expect anything else? Maybe I should have hung on to one of those other tribute monsters. Uh, well, we're going to use our Sakuretsu armor and kill this big monster. Because he clearly doesn't have another monster right now, so that's still kind of advantage us. Oh look, a polymerization. And I already used the, uh... Oh, we can make Flame Swordsman or Thousand Dragon. I don't know if I want to hang on to... the Baby Dragon hope to draw another Time Wizard. Probably should've. Because if we had the Thousand Dragon, this wouldn't be too difficult of a battle for us. And there's a monster that's bigger than mine. Hooray! Ah, but I have a monster now. And it's powered up by our field spell, kind of like his. Uh, and he has reinforcements. Awesome. So his trap card boosted his attack points by 500, and we're in another tight spot. But we could really use, uh, you know, anything that we could... Um, even a, a 5 or 6 star monster to tribute because we got the soul exchange. We have another soul exchange. Wow. None of these do anything. So we're just going to have to pass. Hope our opponent can't kill us. Yeah, he can kill us now. What? Yeah, yep, he can. Alright, well what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, pause this and I'm going to just cut to the duel where we win. Alright, third time is probably the charm with Joey. I'm still going to go second. Even though this <laughs> going second hasn't worked out for me so far. Oh my gosh, this hand is awful. Oh, Gilosaurus and Two-Headed King Rex and... Another Gilosaurus. Well, we can discard a card to a cost down to reduce the level of all monsters in our hand by two. And that would let us play the Swamp Battle Guard. Let me get rid of a Lava Battle Guard.
I'm still very uneasy about what might be coming out uh, next. I'll take out his uh, strongest monster, because if he plays his field spell, he could tie with the Swamp Battle Guard and uh, cause a trade. But yep, yep, this is what I was afraid of. Oh, the Serpent Night Dragon. Yeah, Rex has that in his deck, too. Yeah, I figured out how to beat that. It'd be nice if we could get, uh, I don't know... Anything that does something would be nice. Instead of all these weak uh, five-star monsters and weak normal monsters, this is all the deck wants to give us. Well, this has worked so well for us in the past. Time Roulette, go! Hey, it actually worked this time. We might have a shot here. Oh, Threatening Roar, so you don't take 500 points of damage. Yeah, that's the best time to use that, Rex. And, well, now we're going to be back to playing a bit of a power game. But I have a 4-star 1500 attack monster. Ooh, Salamandra. Oh, it has to equip to a fire monster. I thought it was going to just have to be equipped to a warrior. I guess I'm supposed to equip that to the flame swordsman. And, well, Rex has his field spell. That's not a good sign. But he doesn't have a monster to go with it, so we might have a chance. Oh, if we draw another Time Wizard, that polymerization will be helpful. Um, I mean, I guess I could throw the Lava Battle Guard out there. Heck, I may even want it in defense mode. Just because it's got 1800 defense, and I know he's got some 1600 attack uh, dinosaurs that would get powered up to 1800 with his wasteland, so I'm gonna be a little bit cautious here. Okay, he doesn't have anything. I get a soul exchange right after uh, tribute summoning. Wonderful. Well, it's probably the uh, best duel we've kind of had with Rex so far. That... oh! He's tributing it with Monster Gate. Well, that's very rude. But I guess he could... <laughs> he said a monster and then played Soul Exchange, and then I thought he wasn't... he was just being dumb and not gonna be able to do anything with it. Turns out I was wrong. Um... Yeah, we don't have a way to beat that. I'm going to... I wish that I still had a Tribute Monster in hand to go with that Soul Exchange. If it wasn't for that, I might be sitting okay, actually. Oh, Sword Arm of Dragon, I can kill that with our Trap Hole! Now he's just got that 1800 attack Crawling Dragon. If we can draw a Time Wizard here, that would be wonderful. You are very much not a Time Wizard. So Flame Manipulator... I mean, I can increase your attack by 800 with Salamandra. Still not enough to beat the Crawling Dragon. Oh. Am I going to get... Am I going to get another Masaki, or am I going to get another Time Wizard first? Well, we're going to take our chances with the Masaki. Because who knows, we might have, like, I don't know, Warrior returning alive or reinforcement of the army. You know, useful cards that would let us get a Masaki right now. And that has to be a spellcaster, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a spellcaster. 
I'm gonna pass the turn and just hope that Rex can't kill us. Okay, well he can't quite kill us. He's gonna get us really close here. Or even a uh, five-star monster would be nice here. Another field spell. That doesn't do it. But he doesn't kill us this turn, so let's see what we get. Ooh, Axe Raider. That works. Because we now have 1900 attack to his 1800. And our Rex still has a ton of life points left, but that's kind of irrelevant. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is a lot more about being able to control the board and uh, board position and card advantage and stuff. Uh, more so than just getting more life points. Alright, let's play this Graceful Charity and find something. Hey look, I found stuff. Uh, well, we're going to get rid of the Sojin for one, because we definitely don't need that. There's another Flame Manipulator. I don't know if I want to... There's a Baby Dragon. I'm going to get rid of the Flame Manipulator. I'm not going to summon anything this turn. I just want to whittle down his monsters. If he plays something, I can soul exchange it if he tributes. Well, that's not bigger than what we currently have, but... That face down is worrisome. So I think what I'm going to do is play the soul exchange summon our Garuzis here. And I'm kind of committed to not getting the Flame Swordsman by this point since we discarded the Flame Manipulator, so I'm going to go ahead and power it up with Salamandra uh, to add another 700 since it is a fire attribute monster. Oh, Snatch Steel. This would have been useful when he was beating us down with uh, Serpent Might Dragon or Red Eyes. Oh, Threatening Roar. Okay. Thought it might have been reinforcements because he threw a monster that was weaker in attack mode than our Axe Raider. That's why I got really paranoid there. Plus, being low on life points, I can't afford too many more slip-ups. I'm going to go ahead and just set this Tiger Axe. And let's see what happens here in the battle phase. There goes a monster. There goes a monster. Alright, we've got this... Well, I don't want to say we have this in the bag. A single, like, Dark Hole or Raigeki or some other nonsense can turn this around in a hurry. But we have a monster that's going to be stronger than his uh, red eyes, and we have a we have this now as well. The swamp battle guard. These battle guards, you know, they'd be so much better if they were four stars. Just having to tribute something for a monster who only gets an attack boost of 500 for having another tribute monster out. Not that good, especially when their stats aren't good to begin with. I'm going to smack him with an Axe Raider, I'm going to smack him with this powered up Garuzis. Alright, so it takes us three times to win <laughs> with Joey. This seems to be a trend. So I guess you won my Star Chips. Not only did I win your Star Chips, but I won your Red Eyes too. Would have been nice if you explained that, you know, before the duel that you were putting up your red eyes. I mean, I guess it happened during the duel, but still. That is how uh, Joey got his red eyes from Rex Raptor, the dinosaur duelist. Not too many pr people probably remember, uh, remember things like that. Yeah, he got his 
star dragon that he's known for from a guy that's known for playing dinosaurs. Go figure. But it was season one of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, so we got our signature card award and a monster reborn. Those are nice. Alright, next we're playing as Yugi again, so we'll see about summoning that Dark Magician.